In this video, you'll learn about the real-time reports in Google Analytics. These reports let you understand what people are doing on your website right now. You will also walk through two important configuration options. These are linking Google Analytics to Google Ads and Google Search Console. Taking the time to link these will give you additional insights in your reports. And I want to mention this is the second lesson in the Google Analytics training series. In the first lesson, we covered how to get started with Google Analytics. If you missed it, you can find a link to the video in the description. Okay, let's start by heading to my demo website. Since we've already installed Google Analytics on our website, we will be collecting data into our reports. And a great way to check that everything is working is to open the real-time reports. Before we open the reports, let's send some events to Google Analytics by navigating through my demo site. Let's navigate to another page. And let's scroll down the page. You can do the same on your website. And if there is an action you want to check is being tracked, you can also complete that action. For example, if you want to check that embedded YouTube videos are being tracked, then click your video to start playing it. Or if you want to check that outbound links are being tracked, then click on the outbound link. Okay, now let's head back to Google Analytics. And let's navigate to Reports. And select Real-Time Overview. This report shows you what people are currently doing on your website. It includes users from the last 30 minutes. We can see a visualization of where people are located at the top. We can then see the number of users from the last 30 minutes. Below this, there are details for how people first found our website. If they're included in any audiences that have been configured for our Google Analytics property. The pages they're viewing. Events that have been collected. If any conversions have been tracked as key events. And any custom information we've tracked about our users. Some of the most useful information in this report is found in the event count by event name card. This shows you all of the events that have been tracked. And it's really useful for checking if data is being tracked correctly because you can click on the name of an event to then see additional information that has been collected. Let's select the page view event. This shows us all of the information called parameters that have been collected with the page view. For example, selecting the page location parameter lets us see the URLs of the pages people have viewed. This includes the pages we just loaded on my demo site. Apart from the real-time overview report, there's also a real-time report dedicated to the pages people are currently viewing. To take a look, let's open the real-time pages report. At the top of the report, we can see the total number of active users and page views in the last 30 minutes. And below the chart, we can see page by page path. Like we saw in the overview report, this lets us view the pages people are currently viewing on our website. So using the real-time reports is one way to check that data has been collected into your Google Analytics reports. You will need to wait a day for data to appear in the other standard reports. Until then, they will be blank. Let's take a look. Let's navigate to Acquisition and then Overview. Because I have just created this Google Analytics property, we can see this standard report is blank. So we will need to wait 24 hours before data will appear in these reports. Moving forward, you will build up historical data you can use to understand the performance of your website and marketing campaigns in Google Analytics. While we wait for data to appear in our reports, there are two important things we can configure. We can link our Google Ads and Google Search Console accounts to Google Analytics. To do this, let's navigate to Admin. Now we can select the product we want to link in the Product Links card. Or we can select Product Links on the left and then select one of the options. Let's choose Google Ads Links. 
to link Google Ads to Google Analytics, you will need the correct level of permission in both products. You will need marketer, editor or administrator permission in Google Analytics and administrator permission in Google Ads. If you don't have the correct permissions for both platforms, then you won't be able to link your accounts. If this is the case, then you'll need to ask someone who does have the correct level of permission to link the accounts or ask them to increase your permissions. Since I do have the correct permissions in both products, let's click link on the top right corner. Now we need to select the account or accounts we want to link to. So let's select choose Google Ads accounts. Once we've selected the account or accounts we want to link, we click confirm. And let's click next. Let's leave the default settings and click next again. Now let's click submit. We can see it says link created. So we know we've linked Google Ads and Google Analytics. I also recommend taking the time to link Google Analytics and Google Search Console. So let's select Search Console links. Again, you will need the correct level of permission in both Google Analytics and Search Console to link the products. Since I do, let's click link on the top right corner. Now let's select choose accounts and select the Google Search Console account we want to link. Now let's click confirm. Then we click next. Now we need to select the web stream that you will use to track the same website from Google Search Console. Let's select the data stream. Now let's click next. And finally, we click submit. We've now linked Google Search Console and Google Analytics. So they're the steps to link Google Search Console and Google Ads. And we've also covered how to use the real-time reports to understand what people are currently doing on our website. Have you checked the real-time reports and linked Search Console and ads? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to learn more about Google Analytics, please subscribe to my channel because I will be releasing more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.